My hello and welcome to all of you on Dams Delhi YouTube channel. I am Dr. Sachin, Psychiatry Faculty, and today I have been joined by my psychiatric colleague, a proud student, Dr. Omar Alfros. Thank you so much, Omar, for coming here. Thank you for having me here. Sir. It's an honor for me. So, Dr. Omar has secured first rank, rank one. Yes, rank one in INI Super Speciality. Uh, aims DM entrance examination and has already joined DM in psychosomatic medicine. Very, very congratulations. So proud of you, Omar. Thank you so much. First of all, tell us uh, what made you choose this branch. Tell us more about what is psychosomatic medicine. So, uh, sir, psychosomatic medicine is a subspeciality of psychiatry. In this branch, there is the interplay of medical and psychiatric factors. So, for example, delirious patient in some other medical specialities. And also there are patients with uh, somatic symptoms which are unexplained by the medical uh, conditions. So, these interplay of these issues, this is the branch. And uh, there are other factors also, assessment of, of psychological distress in patients with medical conditions and other things. And my interest in this branch came from my MD days when I used to be posted in CL posting. So, we used to see those patients and discuss with our seniors and faculties. So from that part itself, I became interested in joining this. So can we say it is just uh, like consultation license psychiatry or something different? So consultation license psychiatry is the clinical part of psychosomatic medicine, if I uh, want to uh, be clear on that. So in CL psychiatry, basically, it, uh, we are managing the clinical aspects of that and the overall branch which is there, it is psychosomatic medicine. So how long this branch is there? Tell us more about this branch. So, uh, fellowships in this branch is, has been there since a long time in uh, PGI and in Nimhas, which are one-year fellowships and there is also in Ames, Jodhpur, uh, there is a fellowship. But the DM course, this is the first course uh, which is there in the country. There was one batch previous to me in the January batch and mine is the second batch. How many seats do we have in psychosomatic? Uh, we have only one seat, Matab, there is one uh, unreserved seat and one sponsor seat in each uh, batch, in each semester. So, there is only one uh, general seat. Okay, so it is a three-year course. What is the future prospects of this course if somebody wants to pursue? Yeah. So, uh, psychosomatic br branch is well established in USA and UK and in some other European countries also. And in India, it is a relatively new branch, but then there are various uh, possibilities and scopes. For example, hospitals might set up such CL psychiatry units where we can be posted. We can also consider going outside where it is a well-established branch also. Okay. So tell us about your undergraduation and graduation. You are uh, doing DM from Ames and you are undergraduate and graduate also from yeah, so Ames. So I have done my MBBS and MD also from the same institute, Ames Delhi. Hmm. So tell us uh, did, did your journey during your residency in post-graduation at Ames. So it was a very enriching experience in terms of both clinical uh, aspects and also the interpersonal relationships. The department is very helpful. All the faculties are very cooperative and they do teach us so well. I enjoy all the rounds which are there in the wards and also the postings which are there. So it's a very enriching experience. Uh, the amount of theory practice which we get. So there are seminars every week. There are uh, uh, general clubs every week. So we learn a lot from those aspects also. So tell us, uh, suppose a first year PG joins uh, MD Psychiatry this year, whether in Ames or any other uh, institute, what is your advice to a first year PG? What is your advice to a second year? If you want to summarize the residency ideal approach, what would you like to say? So, uh, although it may be different for different people, but what I feel is that it's a very uh, promising branch, not in just of career, but also as a person, if you see patients improving, you feel so much better because in psychiatric illnesses, the whole family is affected. So, if you are able to help them, so it really gives us a very good experience. In terms of academics, I would suggest that uh, stick to basics, try to read the basic concepts very well. There are various opportunities available these days. There are online courses and different things. So, you should take help from all of these and try to improve in academics. Any books that you would recommend must do for a psychiatry postgraduate? Uh, so in terms of books, uh, I think Maudsley is one of the uh, very important books in terms of uh, psychopharmacology and also uh, the Fish and Sims for Psychopathology and Synopsis for Overall. Apart from that, you have to refer to other books also. For, so for Forensic Medicine, there is a book. For Community Psychiatry, there is a book. So these topics are not there in Synopsis. So for that, you need to refer to other books. There are also courses which you may do online. That is also an option. Okay. Did you actually prepare for DM entrance exam during your MD days? 
to be honest at that time the course was not there so i did not specifically prepare for it however during my uh, uh, ward rounds and when i would go and see those patients in different places at that time i used to come back and read about that illness or how to manage how to assess so that part really helped me a lot in the exam so after md you did not immediately join dm you did a uh, sr ship what is your opinion about senior residency is it recommended so uh, senior residency i did in the same street after my gr ship so yeah definitely i would recommend it especially if you want to stay in academics because uh, during our gr ship we are kind of in a very protected environment and we are not able to manage uh, complex cases or uh, form our own opinions on how to manage and th- all those things so that sr ship gives you that kind of experience which you do not expect in a uh, md course okay so during sr ship did you prepare for this exam so uh, a uh, specific preparation was not there but then when i heard that this course is coming so in the back of my mind always there was this idea that uh, i might do this and so i would read the uh, cl uh, psychiatry topics and i would read about different drugs which are usually asked in these exams so uh, in this way I, i was preparing but there was no specific way to prepare because it's a new course we did not know what questions will come so yeah but in the hindsight after giving the exam like uh, you gave the exam if looking at the question paper if you would like to recommend something to be read to prepare for this yeah so one of the uh, interesting aspects is that a lot of questions came from psychology part which in our md and even for our final exam we don't read so much especially like uh, how, how do you assess patients with who have or having cancer for example with depression so how do you assess and how do you diagnose those cases the psychological approaches how to uh, break bad news that approach for that so those questions were very frequent in the exam so three four questions on this aspect only came so this is in my hindsight i would uh, like to read more about these topics in my md uh, overall the pattern of the exam how many question what was the duration of the exam so the question uh, were 80 questions in the exam and duration was 90 minutes and there was plus 1 for correct answer and min- uh, uh, minus 1 by 3 for negative wrong answers so that was uh, the pattern. was there any interview or only on the marks uh, there was an interview separately and both the marks were added for the final result and did they give you the marks also how many yeah, they they gave us the marks how much marks you so overall i got 69 marks uh, out of 100 uh, adding the uh, interview marks and the theory marks okay so did you prepare for any other dm entrance also uh, or super speciality need i did not prepare for any other because my idea was to complete my sr ship and look for uh, further opportunities but this dm course in psychosomatic this uh, really piqued my interest so i wanted to attempt this and now you have been in this course for last one month how are you feeling about it so yeah after uh, this month i am really interested and i already learned so much more which i was uh, learning in my sr ship or my in, uh, md course so yeah there are so m- many things to know and there are so many different theories and uh, how to manage those patients those parts i'm learning okay so uh, in nutshell the psychosomatic medicine is a broader view as compared to consultation lies in psychiatry which is a clinical part of psychosomatic that is something very interesting he has said and it is like a well established branch and we do have fellowships already available okay so uh, omar has given a good insight to us about uh, this branch and uh, has given you an insight about how to prepare for this uh, super speciality a final piece of advice for your juniors looking at you i'll be sharing this video with your aims juniors okay. senior residents what is your advice go to advice for a young psychiatrist who is md third year or sr what is your advice so my advice would be uh at this time point of time there are so many opportunities for psychiatry residents so you should not limit yourself to one thing or the other try to explore what is there and what you can try and uh, keep loving the subject it is one of the best subject which personally for me it's my favorite is always my favorite so i really recommend you uh, the read try to meet other people know about uh, different aspects of psychiatry take help from your seniors and like do your best okay so before we finally end this interview any gratitude any person who comes to your mind from your under graduation to post graduation your teachers your family you would like to thank because you have achieved a lot which people aspire under graduation post graduation super specialty from aims delhi so what was your motivation behind all this who was so my parents the, they they are my biggest motivation and they have always supported me in my different endeavors so for example psychiatry matlab taking that was not a very common choice in my uh, extended family but my parents were very supportive and they encouraged me so that really helped and apart from that my 
like teachers at aims uh, they are so supportive they are so uh, understanding and they teach us so well so in each ward round like i learned so much and uh, the hours of reading cannot give me that much which i got in few minutes of the round so i want to thank them and my family my wife so i want to thank them all thank you so much dr omar it was a pleasure having you with us thank you sir wish you all the best thank, thank you, you.